In Teresa Golden's fifth grade class at Veterans Memorial Elementary, her best practice is using student leadership to empower learning for her students in reading, writing, and social studies. By encouraging them to embrace the leader within and utilizing the seven habits of highly effective people, they're setting their own learning goals and reflecting on everything they're mastering along the way. So, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna, going to go ahead and you're going to take out your reading goal sheet, okay? And while you're reviewing, you're gonna think to yourself in your head, what did you do last night to work towards your goal? Because our objective is to always make sure that we're becoming better readers. Here's my question first. Who is in charge of you and your choices? Can you point to the person in charge of you? Nice. I like that each one of you pointed to yourself because you're in charge of your choices. The most important thing you can ever learn in life is that you are in charge of the choices you make. So you need to spend a few moments reflecting on what choices did you make last night to be successful, okay? Did you read your 10 pages? Did you do some I ready? And then did you use a different strategy to help make yourself a stronger reader? Because you're a leader in your reading, right? Are you in charge of your own learning and your leading? Absolutely. My best practice is using student leadership to empower their learning. Um, my belief is that children should realize, especially as they're making that transition um, out of elementary school into the secondary school, um, the importance of that they're in charge of themselves as a student and as a learner, and that their choices have power and each choice has an equal impact on them. And so if they understand that they are a leader in their learning through their choices and they set goals with attainable strategies and things they can do each and every day that they can then accomplish small things that will lead them to as they get older being able to accomplish the bigger things to the really challenging moments when something is um, most challenging and then they're able to fall back on what they learned about choices and goals and strategies to truly come through and accomplish. The reason why I enjoy this class is we do a lot of fun and unique projects and um, our teachers just makes learning overall just much more fun. My favorite project was with the chickens because we got to play with them and we got to hold them and we completely, we learned the entire process of how the chicken is born and how it grows inside the egg. This is a great class for Evan because if you look around the classroom, you'll see everywhere that it's all about individuality, yet coming together as a group, being accountable, and positivity. And that type of environment really creates a safe space for learning, but it also boosts confidence. By having her students actively in charge and leading their own learning, they've become fully engaged in the process, resulting in increased academic success. I think it's important to recognize and thank everybody that does a great job, especially our teachers. They are a great social and emotional piece on the growing up of the child. Um, I think they should all be recognized and thanked every minute and um, we are just very thankful for our Collier County Public School teachers. It's important to thank our teachers because they help us accomplish our dreams and they help us grow up and learn. and help us do new things and try new things. What inspires me every day is helping kids understand that they're in charge of their story. They have power over what happens to them. And you might hit some bumps in the road, you might trip a little bit, but it doesn't matter. You're just gonna get up, you're gonna dust your knees back off, and you're gonna keep going because you're in charge of your story. And you can change your story at any time. Teresa's best practice has unleashed the potential for growth and motivation in her students, creating smiling faces and the best learning gain she's ever experienced, with all of the benefits going to her students. Most people probably think that teachers have always enjoyed school and it's always been really easy. Uh, my story is a little different, so I was actually um, held back in second grade because I couldn't read. And so now, I'm a teacher and I teach reading and I have my master's degree in reading and I love all things reading and writing.